Let's make the anemone granny square. to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Anemone Granny Square. This pattern was created by Eline Alcoser, and she has a this pattern on her website. I will put it here at the bottom of the screen. It is a free pattern, so you can pause the video, write down this website, go to the website, and print off the web pages. If you would like, she's also selling this pattern on Ravelry, which is ad-free and a much more comprehensible version of the pattern. I did purchase her pattern on Ravelry, but it is up to you on which route you want to take. Do you want to go to Ravelry, purchase her pattern, or just go to this website and print off the web page? Your choice. I also noticed that in her pattern, she is creating all of the color changes, and I wanted to create this whole granny square in a solid color. And in order to do that, I did have to tweak the pattern just a little bit in order to go from row to row to row with the same color instead of having to cut the yarn, reattach yarn in a different place and continue going. I'm not going to take any credit away from Eline at all. This is her pattern, Power Tour. She's an incredible crochet pattern creator. I just had to tweak a little bit. So where I had to tweak, I will include a link in the comment section and in the notes section, the free tweaks that I made to the pattern so you can make it in a solid color. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not going to want to miss out. If you are finding that I am moving too quickly in this tutorial, it is okay. On the bottom of this very video, in the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner, you will see a little gear. If you push on the gear, select playback speed, the smaller the number, the slower the video will go for you, okay? This will actually be a feature on every YouTube video you watch. So if you do struggle with the speed of somebody's tutorial, you can go to that little gear Collect, or select that gear, select playback speed, and just slow it down, and then the video will go much slower. You can also speed it up if you want to go really, really fast, but I really doubt you want to do that. <laughs> all right, now that you have all of the information that you need, print off that pattern so you can crochet along with me, and let's go ahead and move right to what materials you're going to need to make this anemone granny square. The materials that you're going to need for the anemone granny square will include a size 4 weighted yarn if you're using my example. My granny square measures 7 inches wide by 7 inches long and that is using the size 4 weighted yarn, worsted weight, medium weight, Aran yarn, and a crochet hook size I9 or 5.50 millimeters. Okay, now in the example in the pattern, she is using a size two weighted yarn uh, and the crochet hooks that she is using is a size D3 or three millimeter crochet hook and a size C or a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Her granny squares are only going to be four inches wide by four inches tall. So knowing the size of the granny square that you wanna make or the yarn that you want to use, it will differ in the size of your granny square. Okay, just keeping that out there. My granny square I'm making with the size four weighted yarn will be seven inches wide, seven inches tall. Okay, I also need a tapestry needle yarn needle to sew in our ends, weave in our ends towards the end of the project, and a pair of scissors to cut your yarn. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways to make this pattern. I'm going to show you how to make one solid color because the stitches will be done slightly different, making just one solid color opposed to if you want to use multiple colors to make your granny square. And the multiple color granny square is a really cool look. It's extremely beautiful. Uh, it's just an option. So I'm gonna show you one way with the color being one solid color. And then I'm going to show you a second way where if you want to change colors, how you can go about doing that. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into making this anemone granny square. All right, we begin with our crochet hook and our yarn. 
Start with a longer tail so that way when we have completed the granny square we can weave in our end. Create your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook. Okay, make sure the tension is just nice enough for the loop to slide on your crochet hook. We begin by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into that very first chain to create a ring, and that ring counts as our round one. All right, great. So for round two, we're gonna chain two. One, two. This chain two does count as your very first double crochet. We're going to make another double crochet inside the circle. And, they're and then we are going to chain three. One, two, three. Now here is the repeat for round two. I'm gonna make two double crochets. One, two, and then chain three. One, two, three. So we have one grouping, two groupings. We need a total of six. So repeat this two double crochet, chain three, four more times, and I will meet you at the end of round two to close off round two. So two double crochets, one, two, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Now let's see how many groups we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So all we have to do next is slip stitch into the second chain of our very first chain two. And that closes off round two. What you should see is a little flower shape. That's what we want. Okay, so for round three, this is where the two patterns will differ if you're keeping one color or changing colors. If you are keeping one color through the entire granny square, you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This chain six will count as your very first treble crochet plus chain three. So we're gonna hop over these two double crochets and find this chain three section. In this chain three section, we're going to make a group. The group will consist of three treble crochets, two chains, and three treble crochets. All right, so let's make that inside this chain three section. Yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert your crochet hook, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through only two, yarn over, pull through only two, yarn over, pull through the last two. There's your first treble crochet. Yarn over twice, two, two, and two, 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 and two. Right, there's our three treble crochets in that same space. Chain two, one, two. And then in that same space, we're gonna make three more treble crochets. One. Two. Three, great. Okay, so we're going to make one of these groupings in each one of these chain three spaces. To get from one grouping to the next, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and then we can work on our next grouping of three treble crochet, chain two, three treble crochet in this space. So yarn over twice, two, two, two. If you need to, you can always put your finger into this chain three space to create tension so you're able to get that stuff out of the way and work much easier with the space. Two, 
chain two, and three more treble crochets. One more. Great, finished that grouping. Chain three to get to the next grouping. One, two, three, and I think you're ready to go. Go ahead and continue where you chain three to get to your next grouping in each chain three section. You're putting three treble crochet, chain two, three treble crochet. All right, go ahead and continue around and I'll meet you at the end to close off round three. chain two, and then I already have a treble crochet, the very first three uh, chains that I made at the very beginning of this round. That counts as my very first treble crochet. So I only have to make two more treble crochets to close off round three. And we're going to slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, three, right there. Perfect. And that closes off round three. This is what you should be looking at right here. All right, let's move on to round four. For round four, we're going to chain one. Now, when we go around for round four, in every chain three section, we're going to make five single crochets. And in every chain two section, we're going to make three single crochets. And that's it. That's the repeating pattern to go around for round four. So let's do this together. And I think you'll pick it up pretty quick. So this is a chain three section. So we're making five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, chain two section, we're going to make three single crochets. One, two, three. And what that does is it takes those three treble crochets and it pinches them. So it creates more of a petal look. Okay, finding the next space, which is a chain three. So I'm going to put five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, hop over this chain two, make three single crochets. One, two, three, hop over, make five single crochets. One, two, one, two, three. Great, we've made it to the very beginning. You're just gonna slip stitch into the very first single crochet to close round four. And we have this great circle right here. For round five, we're going to start making this circle into a square shape, okay? So for round five, we're going to chain two, one, two. This chain two does count as your very first double crochet. Go ahead and make two more double crochets in that same space. Yarn over, there's one and two. So we have our group of three double crochets. Skip two stitches. One, two. In that third stitch, you're going to make three half double crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches. In the third stitch, you'll make three single crochets. One, two, three, skip two stitches. In the third stitch, you'll make three half double crochets. One, two, three, skip two stitches. One, two. In that third stitch, you'll make three double crochets. One, two, three, and then pause. 
Okay, whenever we get to our group of three double crochets, we have just made it to a corner. So as soon as you make three double crochets, you will chain three, one, two, three, and then make three more double crochets in that same exact stitch. One, two, three. Okay, so laying this down so you can see what we're working with. So we have just made that corner. Okay, so now working along this side, we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and in that third stitch, make three half double crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches. In the third stitch, make three single crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches. One, two. In that third stitch, make three half double crochets. One, two, three, skip two stitches, one, two, in that third stitch, make three double crochets, one, two, three, and pause. Okay, we made it to our next grouping of double crochets, which means we made it to our next corner. So chain three, one, two, three, Three more double crochets in that same stitch. One, two, three, great. And now we have just made our second corner and we're ready to work on this side. Now we're gonna repeat the exact same thing we did for these two sides on this side and this side. So if you feel comfortable, go ahead, just complete this by yourself. I will be completing it with you just to make sure that you stay on count, but if you want to, you can just jump ahead. So skip two stitches, one, two, three half double crochets, one, two, three, skip two stitches, three single crochets, one, two, three, skip two stitches, three half double crochets, one, two, three, skip two stitches, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, three double crochets in that same exact stitch, one, two, three, perfect, we've made that third corner. Skip two stitches, three half double crochets in that third stitch. One, two, three, skip two stitches, three single crochets, one, two, three, skip two stitches in that third stitch, make three half double crochets, one, two, three, skip two stitches. And in that very last stitch, you have our first grouping of three double crochets. So make your three double crochets in that same stitch. One, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into the second chain that we began with. And that closes off your round five. Okay, so we have just changed our shape from a circle into a square. With round six, we really help to accentuate that square shape. You chain two, one, two. That does count as your very first double crochet. Skip over these three double crochets and find the space between the two groupings. You're going to make three double crochets in that in-between space. One, two, three. Perfect. Skip these three half double crochets. 
Find the space between the half double crochets and the single crochets, and you're going to make three double crochets in this in between space. One, two, three. Skip over the single crochets, find the gap space between the two groupings, make three more double crochets. One, two, three. Hop over to the next space between the half double crochets and the double crochets, making three double crochets. One, two, three. Great, we've made it to our first corner. In each corner, we're going to make three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. So one, two, three, then chain three, one, two, three, and three more double crochets, one, two, Three, great, there's our first corner. And we just continue on, guys. Between each group of three, you're putting three double crochets. And in each corner, you're going to put three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Go ahead and repeat this all the way around the square and I'll meet you at the end of round six to show you how to close. Okay, last corner. Three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three. Now I already have one double crochet for this next three, so I only need to make two more double crochets, one, two, and then slip stitch into that second chain to close off this round six. There we go. That square is looking a lot more shaped. Great. Let's move on to the very last row, round seven, which just really cleans everything up. Okay, for round seven, you're going to chain one, single crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. You're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way to the corner. So go ahead and do that real quick and I will meet you in the corner. Great, I've made it to the corner. In each corner stitch, you're going to make two single crochet, chain one, two single crochets. Okay, so one, two, chain one, one, two perfect and then you're set up to start making one single crochet on top of each stitch all the way to the next corner and then you repeat each corner is going to have the same two single crochet chain one two single crochet all right and in each stitch along the sides you're putting one single crochet in there all right go ahead and continue all the way around and i'll meet you at the end of round seven to close off the entire granny square Okay, last two, and then slip stitch in the very first st single crochet of round seven to close off round seven. Then you'll take your scissors, cut a long tail. Okay, yarn over, pull that yarn through your loop for a secure slip knot. And your project is done. There is your granny square for one solid color. The only thing you would need to do next is just weave in your ends into the project by using your yarn needle and your square is complete. To work your anemone granny square with multiple colors, let's go ahead and begin with this lightest color. You can begin with whatever color you favor for the very center of your shape. Okay, begin with a long enough tail so you can weave in your ends after we've completed the granny square. 
we're going to probably need about three, four inches. Then create your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook, making sure the tension is just so that the loop slides on your crochet hook. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, slip stitch into the very first chain to create a ring. And this is considered your first round just by making this ring. For round two, we're going to chain two, one, two. This chain two does count as your very first double crochet. Make one more double crochet into this ring. There we go. And chain three, one, two, three. So this right here is going to be your repeat pattern. Two double crochets and then chain three. So let's do that again. Two double crochets, one, two, and then chain three. One, two, three. We want to make a total of six of these. So here's one, two, go ahead and make four more double, two double crochet chain threes, and then I'll meet you at the end to close off round two. One, two, three. So let's count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. So to close off round two, you find that first chain two we began with, and you slip stitch into the second chain. There we go. You should have something that looks like a, a little flower. Very pretty. Okay, so you're gonna cut your yarn, long enough tail to weave in your ends. When we are working this granny square by changing colors, you're gonna find yourself with a lot of tails to weave in, but that's okay. All right, pick up your next color. I'm gonna choose my actual color color, my yellow, gold. Okay, again, we're going to begin with a long enough tail to weave in our ends, create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook. Perfect. Come to your flower. The flower part, the chain three section that we just ended with, go ahead and insert your crochet hook into that chain three section and slip stitch to attach your yarn. There we go. Now chain three. One, two, three. This chain three does count as your very first treble crochet. Make two more treble crochets in this exact same chain three space. So yarn over once, yarn over twice, insert your crochet hook into the space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through only two loops, Yarn over, pull through only two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And that's your treble crochet. Make one more. Yarn over once. Yarn over twice. Insert your crochet hook back into that space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So this counts as three treble crochets. Then you'll chain two. One, two and make three more treble crochets in that exact same space. One, two, three. Great. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down so we can look at it. In every single one of the chain three sections, we're going to make this grouping. Three treble crochet, chain two, three treble crochet. Okay, in each one of these chain three groupings. To get to your next grouping, you need to chain three. So one, two, three. Next grouping, three treble crochet, chain two, three treble crochet. One, two, 
two. Three, chain two, one, two, three more treble crochet. One, two, three. Great. Okay, and you're going to repeat this all the way around. All right. So you'll chain three to get to your next grouping. Make your grouping in the next chain three space, then chain three, grouping, chain three, grouping, chain three, grouping, all the way around. I will meet you at the end of round three to show you how to close. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then one, two, three chains. And we slip stitch into the third chain to close. So one, two, three, slip stitch, and that closes our round three. And you're left with this flower looking thing. Grab your scissors, cut your yarn, long enough tail so that way you can weave in that end. Yarn over, pull through the loop for a slip knot. All right, let's grab our next color. All right, leaving enough room for you to weave in your ends. We're going to create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook. Perfect, and we are ready to attach this new color to our project. So find that chain three space that we just made to close off round three. You're going to slip stitch into this chain three space. So grabbing your yarn, yarn over, pull through, all the way through, and chain one that attaches your yarn to the project. Okay, so for round four, in every chain three section, we're going to make five single crochets. And in every chain two section, we're going to make three single crochets. And that is the repeat pattern for round four. So this is a chain three section. So we're going to make five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hop over these treble crochets to the chain two section where we will make three single crochets. One, two, three. And what that does is it pinches those three treble crochets together, creating a petal look. Okay, hop over these treble crochets to the chain three section and make five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hop over these three treble crochets to the chain two section where we will make three single crochets. One, two, three. And repeat. Hop. One, two, three. And we've made it to the end. You're just going to slip stitch into the top of the very first single crochet to close round four. Boom, right there. Grab your scissors, cut enough of a tail to weave in your ends. Yarn over, pull through the loop for a slip knot. Beautiful. We've just made the last circle shape. For round five, we're going to start making a square shape, I'm turning the circle into a square. All right, so we're gonna go back to our light color that we began with. Long enough tail to weave in our ends. Create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook. Perfect. Okay, so starting in this very same stitch that we slip stitched into, we're going to slip stitch again to attach our new color. So slip stitch right there to attach our new color. Chain two, one, two. 
and that chain two counts as our very first double crochet. We're going to make two more double crochets in that same exact stitch. One, two, skip two stitches, one, two, and in that third stitch, we're going to make three half double crochets. One, two, three, skip two stitches. In the third stitch, make three single crochets. One, two, three, skip two stitches. In the third stitch, make three half double crochets. One, two, three, Skip two stitches in the third stitch, make three double crochets. One, two, three, and pause. Okay, whenever we get to a group of three double crochets, we have just began a corner. Okay, so we just hit three double crochets. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three and make three more double crochets into that same exact stitch. I will put my finger here to hold back the yarn just to get this out of the way, kind of spread that stitch so I can really identify it and see it. If you want to use that, you don't have to. Two and three, perfect. And that just made that corner. Okay, continuing on. Skip two stitches, one, two. In the third stitch, make three half double crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches, make three single crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches, make three half double crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches, make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Great, okay, this is a corner, so chaining three. One, two, three. Three more double crochets in that same exact stitch. One, two, three. Great, skip two stitches, one, two. Third stitch, make three half double crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches, make three single crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches, make three half double crochets. One, two, three. Skip two stitches, make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and three more double crochets in that same stitch. One, two, three, great. Okay, last side here, skip two stitches, one, two, in the third stitch, make three half double crochets. One, two, three, skip two stitches. Third stitch, make three single crochets. One, two, three, skip two st stitches. In the third stitch, make three half double crochets. One, two, three, Skip two stitches in that very first stitch that we began with. It already has three double crochet stitches in that corner stitch. We are going to make three more double crochets. One, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and just slip stitch into the second chain of that very first chain two we began this row with. There we go. Oh, and that squared up that circular shape. Grab your scissors, cut a long enough tail to weave in your ends. Yarn over, pull through the loop for a slip knot. Great. Okay, let's grab our next color. My next color is going to be a lighter gray color. 
Okay, long enough tail to weave in our end, create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook. Perfect. Okay, we're about to enter into round six of our granny square. So in that same corner stitch, right next to where we slip stitch to close, we're going to slip stitch to attach our new color. Okay, so yarn over, pull through, pull all the way through, chain one, and our yarn is attached. Okay, go ahead and chain another one for a chain two. That counts as our very first double crochet. Make another two double crochets inside this corner space. One, two, chain three, one, two, three, and three more double crochets for the corner. One, two, three, great. Okay, so skip over the next three double crochets, find the space between the groupings of three, and we're gonna make three double crochets in that in-between space. One, two, three, great. Okay, skip over these half double crochets, find the space in between the two groupings, and make another three double crochets. One, two, three. Great, skip over these single crochets, find the space in between the groupings, and make another three double crochets. One, two, three, and continue to the next corner. One, two, three. Great. In this corner space and in each corner space, you're going to make three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. One, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochet. One, two, three. Great. And continue all the way around, guys, making a group of three double crochets between the groupings of three. One, two, three. Perfect. And I will meet you at the very end of round six to show you how to close. And last grouping of three double crochets here. Two, three, and we're going to slip stitch into the second chain to close off round six. Beautiful, guys. Okay, grab your scissors, cut long tail. Yarn over, pull through the loop for a slip knot, and we're ready for our last color. And the last color that I'm going to pick is going to be back to this yellow gold color. To, to just finalize, we're going to last row, we're just going to edge this granny square, and having that main color is a great pop to just bring it all together. So a long tail, long-ish tail, so you can weave in that end. Create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook. Great. Okay, in that same corner that we, that was right next to where we closed, because this is where we closed. So in that same corner, we're going to slip stitch to attach our yarn. Chain one. In each corner, we're going to make two single crochets one chain one, two single crochets. So here we go. One, two, chain one, one, 
two. All right, that's a corner. For every side, you're just putting one single crochet on top of each stitch all the way across. All right, and that is how we go about this very last row, row seven. So go ahead and continue around. Every corner is going to be two single crochet, one chain one, two single crochet, and then every side you're putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way down. Okay, go ahead and continue around the square and I'll meet you back at the beginning to show you how to close off this granny square and finish. All right, coming up to this close here. Last stitch, perfect. Slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Grab your yarn or grab your scissors, cut your yarn. Yarn over, pull through that loop for a slip knot and your granny square is done. It's complete. And the colors are really beautiful. It's really nice when you can make a different color per row. So that way you can really see what's going on in each row and each detail. You'll just have a lot more ends to weave in if you do do a different color in each row and it is worth it for sure. But if you want to, you can also just do one solid color and that's beautiful as well. I hope you have a lot of fun making your anemone granny square. If you are finding that it is a little too wrinkled or if you do want to attach multiple granny squares, I highly recommend that you block your granny square once you have finished with it. There are some amazing videos on how to block your crochet pattern or crochet project on YouTube. Check it out. If you have a lot of fun making these anemone granny squares, you will definitely want to check out these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today. I always love spending time with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.